Here's what you missed on the last episode of Red Lipstick Vibes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can't exist in the same goddamn space. Just like femininity and um, uh, toxicity can't exi exist in the same sex, same space. They are literally the opposite. Mm -hmm. A, 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 a um, masculine man would defend against toxicity. Like if it's a man, if it, 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 you remember back in the day, if we saw a man whipping his woman's ass, back in the day, a guy, a, another man would intervene because the man that's whipping the woman's ass is not displaying masculinity, but the man that actually protects the situation is that that's what we consider masculinity. But it inflicted it. Anything that you do that has anything to do with going against what they like is considered toxic masculinity. And I'm going to be mm -hmm. honest with you, I get so damn tired of people talking about this um, uh this um what's the, what's the damn buzzword that every woman wants to use with a man anytime um they think that we're trying to be authoritative i'm trying to think of the word at the moment um misogyny misogyny thank you sir and first of all misogyny is the hatred and disdain of women if i hate you and i have that much disdain for you the fuck would i try to say anything to help you why would I say anything to, 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 honestly, I can just hit it and roll. I ain't got to tell you nothing good about you. I ain't got to tell you nothing great about, I didn't got, I don't got to tell you anything with that, that would help, help you forward in a relationship or any kind of situation or anything. I don't even have to have the headache. So first of all, you, you're talking about the hatred, the hatred of women. We don't hate women. That's why we keep saying stuff. That's why we keep on going through all of this stuff because we keep saying all this stuff because we don't hate y'all. We see the greatness in you. We even when you don't see nothing, all you want to do is lay under a bed of comfortable lies. We're trying to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And so you always say. masculinity crap like first of all there's no such thing as toxic masculinity because masculinity and toxicity can't exist in the same goddamn space just like femininity and um, uh, toxicity can't exi exist in the same sex same space they are literally the opposite mm -hmm. a, 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 a um, masculine man would defend against toxicity like if it's a man, if it, it, you remember back in the day, if we saw a man whipping his woman's ass, back in the day, a guy, a, another man would intervene because the man that's whipping the woman's ass is not displaying masculinity, but the man that actually protects the situation is that that's what we consider masculinity. But it inflicted it. Anything that you do that has anything to do with going against what they like is considered toxic masculinity. And I'm going to be honest with you, I get so damn tired of people talking about this um, uh this um what's the, what's the damn buzzword that every woman wants to use what a man anytime um they think that we're trying to be authoritative i'm trying to think of the word at the moment um misogyny misogyny thank you sir and first of all misogyny is the hatred and disdain of women if i hate you and i have that much disdain for you the fuck would i try to say anything to help you why would I say anything to, 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 honestly, I can just hit it and roll. I ain't got to tell you nothing good about you. I ain't got to tell you nothing great about, I didn't got, I don't got to tell you anything with that, that would help, help you forward in a relationship or any kind of situation or anything. I don't even have to have the headache. So first of all, you, you're talking about the hatred, the hatred of women. We don't hate women. That's why we keep saying stuff. That's why we keep on going through all of this stuff because we keep saying all this stuff because we don't hate y'all. We see the greatness in you. We even when you don't see nothing, all you want to do is lay under a bed of comfortable lies. We're trying to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So, and you always say that men don't protect you. Men are not protective. Like, honestly, the protection that I give you is the truth I tell you from the lies that you keep telling yourself. <laughs> yeah. that's what the problem is y'all y'all don't want to hear it though and, and and everything is toxic and then we try to get in there and, and get in there and try to take care of our kids and then all of a sudden you know uh you, you trying to trying to demonize us and make us look bad or or try to sh try to make us uh parent the kid the way that you want micro parenting and all of this type of shit and at mm -hmm. the end of the day just let me or not even let me get out of the damn way Get your ass out of the way. I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a man. You move. Yep. Move to the side. Because I'm not going to keep asking you if I can be a father. And that's the problem. That's where a lot of these guys, 
they got to ask permission to be a dad. Don't nobody want to ask permission. I'm going to be a father or I don't want to deal with you. Mm -hmm. And then when I try to come in and try to get to the courts and the courts don't give me, give the child to me, even though most of the kids, most kids actually thrive when they're in a single parent household that is a man. That is yep. structure. Yeah. Yep. So the thing about it is they know this, these stats are available, yet they keep awarding them to these women. Now, it's mm -hmm. not saying all women are horrible. There are some great women out there that yeah. know how to raise these young babies right. Yep. The problem is all of them ain't like that. Nope. I see, and you're not you these men. Go ahead, brother. But but do you see how you have to preface that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, you, when yeah. You, you're speaking, but 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 they can make general statements. All men ain't shit. But we won't get offended by that because we know we are something. Don't fit me. But we know that's not all men. But when you when you speaking with with women, you have to preface everything. Just because you say like. Um, you know, any statement that you make where you're not saying it's all women, but you always got to say, well, I'm not saying all women. You should know this. You know what I'm saying? But you, you always have to preface it. That's crazy. But anyway. Um, yeah. I wanted to comment and say we have systematically seen the dismantle of, of a matriarchy in front of our eyes. Yeah. Systematically. Now, mind you, Major most black men, I ain't talking about all, are conservative. Mm -hmm. I'm a conservative black man. My baby wouldn't be at that time of night. My wife or my girl wouldn't be hanging with people who's taking cameras of you twerking. Most That's women amazing. have a problem with that type of control over their life. So I always ask a woman, have you ever been under the submission of a man? Have your daddy mm -hmm. ever told you what to do? Have you ever built fix a plate for your father? Or do that, you know what I'm saying? So we, 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 because uh, I ain't gonna tell you that video disturbed me in so many levels because I've seen it in the hood. Yep. This is why I'm saying she's not all. She's not. That behavior is a is a a culture of dysfunction that we celebrate too many times, and we allow it right in front of our faces. And a lot of us who are not a part of that look and we turn the other way. You know what I'm trying to say? So. It has to be addressed because the thing about this, people like her will start confusing other dignifying women who are not even about that. But I'm a, but, but I'm a contact with uh, what's his name, Grizzly said. At the same time, I'm gonna be honest with you, we do hate them. We do hate them. Let's keep it real. We hate them because of the action, not the person themselves. But we do hate them. I don't know about you guys, but I saw the guy who who both love and hate. You have two different nineties. You got to He hates you because of the simple fact of your sin. But if you change the way you're saying that you end up loving you, that's the issue. Most men today, no, they don't know how to be, differentiate the two. We do hate them because of the simple fact of what they're doing to the community. But what she's doing to the community is going to continue to generate more toxic, to toxicity. It's going to generate more people like that. It's never going to change. But then if, if you if you let the women know, like, hey, what you're doing, I really do hate it. Stop it. Then, then there come the form of accountability. Then from there, come, people don't understand something. Women love, I don't know, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Women do love to be hated on. I don't know why, it's just they, they do. <laughs> because they still receive it as little. They say, oh, even in these spaces, prime example. You Have you noticed people always focus on a negative comment, the negative comment, then a positive one? Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the negative comment is showing them, hey, it might be some area I'm actually less missing than the positive comment. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. We got to let these women know, hey, we hate your action because in actuality, they're going to receive it as love. That's my take. Hey, dog, a holla. Hey, dog, a holla. I'm just jumping in real quick. I remember there was a couple of times in relationships in my youth. You know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. But a couple of relationships in my youth, there was times where I would say something at a regular voice, and I'm speaking at this level on purpose, and I would say something. And then the young lady would respond to me like, why are you screaming at me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, what you, oh, I see what you're doing there. You think you're slick. And I said, what are you saying? And what I realized is that when I spoke those words, those were words that already resonated within their minds. Those were words that spoke to the truths mm -hmm. that they felt themselves within themselves. 
So hit dog a holler. And sometimes when we deliver a message that someone already faces a specific insecurity about, you know, or personal inventory about, guess what? It's going to ring loud in their head. So, but that's human nature. The thing is, for me, in terms of understanding what we call uh, the action steps to move forward, peace to my boy, co-host Victor Freeze Music, the action steps to move forward. In order for us to really talk about what we're going to do to correct the issues, we do have to take an inventory about our, our personal inefficiencies as well as the inefficiencies of those people that we bring into our lives. You know, but the thing is, so what are we going to do? What's the approach? Great question. Um, for me, it, it, it looks like evaluation. It looks like check-ins, you know, nothing different than work. I, I believe I perform in a certain way, but what I believe ain't important. Is, is what my wife and my children believe. So, so checking in with them and, and getting sort of a update and a report to, to let me know what I can do in, in different ways, in better ways to, to make me a better person, a better father, a better husband, lover, so on and so forth. So I think it's, again, you know, they say there's no accountability, but I think that it, it takes accountability, self-reflection in order to humble yourself and tap in with your significant other, with your family to, to find out if there's something that you can do better, something that you can do different. And I don't think that, uh, that comes hard for us as men. We, we play on teams and, and I believe that's one of the highest levels of accountability. If you're not good enough, you're not playing. You do what you're good at and, and hopefully you, you know, contribute to a team to win a championship. And, and I just equate that to my family. We all have our roles. We are all good at what we do, but don't try to step outside your box. Don't try to do what someone else does. And if we can get a championship, which is success for our children, success for our family name, I think uh, when we put our individual aspirations aside for a greater goal, that's what it's all about, about that team concept. And, you know, I don't see many guys that shy away from that. You know, so to say accountability lacks within men, I, I would, you know, respectfully disagree because you can tell a man this is something that you can do different. We we tell each other, I admire what you're doing over there. And I don't see that with women. Again, I see you pretty. I see a lot of go along to get along. But when it's time to really get to the meat and bones of the conversation, when it's time to ask those probing questions and follow up questions, it's just not there. And and for guys, I see it there. So, you know, even in the chat, they they we've been talking for, you know, an hour and 43 minutes. And, and it's it's looking like they're not seeing what they want to see as us come together as a collective. And that, again, just speaks to the control, because I hear a lot of influential talk on this panel and and you guys are admirable in your own right each and every last one of you and i'll continue you know to ring that bell just to show this this world this youtube world and in the world collectively that us as men we can come together collectively have conversations and keep the conversation moving forward so so kudos to each and every last one of you guys and and real quick you can't um you can't hear what i have to say if you already got a bullet in the chamber to respond so if you're ready to fire back before I finish saying what I need to say, then you didn't hear anything I had to say. And we're already the enemy. <laughs> and we are already the enemy to some women's eyes. So is there even a point to try to, um, to try to correct anything, try to give, we can say in the nicest way, like Chef gave us an example, you know, and they can just get triggered by it. Is it just like, you know what, let me just wipe my hands clean off of it and not try to give this woman any kind of coveting, or should we just try and try to make it work to fix the community? Well, see, that's the, I agree with everything Mr. He said, say I said for one thing. <laughs> When he said, go to your family and ask them, what can you do? Absolutely not. I'm the leader of this family. You come to me and ask those questions, not the, not the other way around. So 
I think that's one of the problems that we have. We we're looking towards the women too much for their input when you should have the answer as a man. And even if you don't have the answer, then you you go to your brethren for for that type of environment. But you never go to your woman because then she'll look at you like you're the weakest link because you're supposed to be guiding her. And that's why they look at us as weak a lot of times because if we if we're deferring to them all the time, then it's like you you can't leave me. And that's what they say all the time. You you can't leave me because if you require me to help you, how are you leading me? And there's only one leader. So true indeed, true indeed brother. Can't be two. <laughs> no company operates that way. It's only one. Even when, even in a partnership, it's somebody that's higher than some somebody else. So, great point. Great point. Anybody else got anything? <laughs>